Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cheese, a photography podcast. I am your host, Jose Betancourt. And as always, I appreciate all of the support we have received. I also partnered up with Rageworks.net. That is where Cheese calls home. And pretty soon, Cheese, a photography podcast, will be available on iTunes. So let's talk about my very first DSLR. I purchased a Nikon D3300. It is an entry-level camera. Then a week after purchasing the Nikon D3300, I found out that the 3400 was out. So I went to Best Buy, did the exchange, and used the 3400 in combination with a Nikon DX 35mm f1.8. That combination is very small, so it was perfect for street photography, and I used that camera for two weeks non-stop. I took it with us when we went food shopping, when we went to eat, when we went to the movies. No matter where I went, the Nikon D3400 was with me. And also, I made sure to learn to shoot manual. To shoot in manual mode, that meant adjusting my ISO, adjusting my shutter speed and my aperture. Now there was one time where I used program mode. Now program mode basically will do everything for you. You put it on program mode, your camera that is, and the camera is going to determine what type of shutter speed, aperture and ISO it's going to use for a particular lighting condition. So go to different lighting conditions put it in program mode, and once you take a bunch of photos, go into those photos and write down the settings that the camera used in program mode. Once you write all of that down, also don't forget to write the lighting conditions next to those settings. So this one, when you're shooting in manual mode, you can take a peek at those settings and experiment. That's what I did. I experimented with all different settings and different lighting conditions And I was able to see the results afterwards. And now, I'm not perfect. I'm not a master at lighting conditions and, you know, using these manual settings. But I'm still learning. But the basics, I have them down packed. And that's what I did with the 3400. I was able to, and and in my mind, and remember, this is all in my mind. I was able to master that camera, you know, (laughs) in my head. Remember that. And so a friend of mine told me that he had the Nikon D7100 and he absolutely loved it, but he had to sell it and he was talking about it so highly. He goes, you know what? You can take that camera and in a dark area, you can focus on this. He was looking at a fire hydrant. He goes, you could focus on that fire hydrant and take a picture of that in very dark conditions and it's going to come out very clear. So I was like, wow. You know, because my friend is really talented in his own right in photography. So, lo and behold, it was like destiny. Because a few days later, the Nikon D7100 was on sale for $799 for the body only. So, in my head, okay, there's a lot that goes on in my head. Uh, So, right away, I did calculations. And I said, you know what? If I return the Nikon D3400 right now, it's still under the return period, and I could pick up a Nikon D7100 for $150 extra. So I did it. (laughs) And to my excitement, instead of going home, reading the instructions, what I did was I picked up the camera, ripped the box open, took the camera out, and instantly noticed that it was heavier, it was beefier, And the button layouts was way more advanced than my Nikon D3400. So I said, okay, I'm going to learn this menu system just as easy as I did with the 3400. Because remember, as I stated earlier, I had mastered the Nikon D3400. All in my head. So I had my lens with me. I had my memory card. I had some juice in the battery. I put everything together. Took a shot. I said, I'm going to use program mode. I'm in a hurry. Let's do this. So I look at the photo. It came out 
okay. I said, wait a minute, there's something going wrong. How do I put program mode? I had no idea. And then I started fiddling with the buttons and then I couldn't see my image. And even though I was hitting the playback button, I couldn't see the image. And I'm like, I'm telling my wife, I'm like, babe, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know how to use this camera. So she was telling me and from the very beginning, she was like, you know what? Wait to go. Wait till we get home so you can open it. Look at the instruction manual and learn that camera the way you're supposed to by reading the instructions before you use it. So I was a little disappointed because I wanted to use the camera right away. And I didn't know how because it was a totally different menu system, totally different layout. The camera body felt professional. It was just an absolute beast. So I had the Nikon D7100 for quite some time. And I really, 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 really adored that camera because it was the camera that I really, damn, I used really a lot. It was the camera that I learned a lot with. Of course, once I got used to the menu system and I programmed all the buttons to my liking and I was able to use manual mode with that 35 millimeter f1.8 that was my winning combination I took it with me on the streets I did some paid jobs with it and I was able to learn the basics of photography I learned about back button focusing composition uh, rapid fire autofocus I was shooting sports sometimes at my son's school. I was shooting uh, portraits. I was doing landscapes. I was doing architecture. You name it, I did it with that Nikon D7100. I even threw in some video once in a while. It wasn't meant for video, but 1080p was pretty functional and it was useful. And it had a microphone jack. The Nikon D7100 is, to this day... A camera that you can use professionally to get paid for work you have over 25 megapixels it the autofocus is pretty good it's weather sealed it's built like a tank and the lens selection is really top-notch as well so there you have it the first DSLR camera that I bought now at the time $799 was expensive it is expensive to this day I, I shouldn't say was and i have a motto it might not be something that everyone agrees with but it it's just the way i live and that motto is go big or go home that is why i decided to jump right away to the nikon d7100 after using the nikon d3400 for only two weeks i decided if i was going to get into photography, seriously get into photography, and possibly make it a business, a livelihood, I decided I was going to learn with a more advanced camera. And I did. I learned a lot. But I'm still learning. And today, I use that motto to purchase my GFX 50R, another camera that I totally had to learn different aspects of photography with. But I'm going to get to that in a few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. What I plan on doing very, very soon is have guests on the show. I'm going to have photographers of all levels coming on the show to talk about their journey in photography and what they're up to currently, what type of projects, what type of uh, equipment, and what type of advice they can give to the listener. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait. And don't forget to head over to RageWorks.net where you can find Cheese, a photography podcast, and a slew of other highly entertaining podcasts as well. And pretty soon, Cheese will be on iTunes. So stay tuned for that. So I'm Jose Betancourt. And as always, I thank you for listening to my podcast. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. <laughs>